The cheapest way to make a car get better fuel economy is to make it more aerodynamic. And with CAFE standards getting tougher all the time, now automakers are adding bits and pieces to improve aero that they pretty much ignored in the past. Let's take a look at how GM engineers tweaked the Chevrolet Malibu Eco to come up with a coefficient of drag of only 0.29. So if you start at the front end of the car, you look, you can see we have a, a classic Chevy two-port uh, front end grille design. And the upper two openings are either completely blocked or partially blocked by what we call passive uh, plastic blockers. And if you move down to the sort of hidden lowermost opening, we're really excited about the, the auto grill shutters, the active grill shutters in, that, in uh, that opening. And those open and close on demand based on a proprietary algorithm that we have, looks at uh, vehicle speed, ambient temperature, and, uh, and fan duty cycle. Um, Keeping with the theme of uh, engineering type enablers, things that customer may, may or may not see, if you look underneath the car, we have a full width air dam that's at the bottom of the fascia uh, that hides the, any low hanging underbody components from the oncoming flow. Behind that we have um, front tire deflectors or mini tire dams in, in the front face of the tires. These reduce the pressure loading on the front face of the tires and uh, really help reduce drag as well. And uh, something that we're really excited about having on a mid-sized car is the underbody panels. We have a set of four panels that cover almost 50% of the underbody of the car and uh, really make the bottom very slick and reduce the underbody drag contribution. Uh, moving back up to the, to the exterior surface and the front end, one part that was really challenging from us was the, uh, the parabolic shape of the front corner uh, in, a, in a plan view. So if you're looking down on the, on the front corner, we see have a nice smooth curve that allows the oncoming flow to that approaches the front of the car to turn the corner and stay planted on the body side. Uh, moving rearward in the car, uh, there's two more things that I'd like to hit on briefly. One is the what we call we have a well we have a beautiful integrated deck lid spoiler, and um, that's one of the things that's fundamental for a low drag car in, in this segment, having a notch angle, the angle from the trailing edge of the deck lid to the top of the backlight is extremely important from a basic shape standpoint in aerodynamics. And uh, it's always a big win to get that straight out of the studio. It just took minor tweaks and we, and we were very happy to, uh, you know, to, get that, to get that done and incorporate it into the design from an aerodynamic standpoint. And one little tweak that was also really important was the uh, fine separation edge and the outboard edge of the tail lamp. Uh, you notice these tail lamps look very similar thematically to what we have on the Camaro and we're very excited about that. But we're also able to make them functionally, functional from an aerodynamic standpoint as well. You know, aero numbers are like horsepower ratings. Unless the exact same test procedures are used following the exact same equipment, the numbers can vary greatly. Some automakers are making aerodynamic claims for their cars that can be called fairly optimistic. Clean diesel models in North America will double by 2014. Why? Higher take rates, lower cost of ownership, longer range and better fuel mileage, lower CO2 emissions. Clean diesel, good, economical, functional. Bosch, invented for life.